So uh, tell me what it was like to get that most fascinating award since I'm a new one to this. Some, you know, some of my friends or somebody, you know, like uh, they give, they recommend my name for that one because I was helping people from my community to, to you know, to find the job and to find a job for the people who do not have English is very challenging. So I have that you know, population who has very limited English to get mm -hmm. a job. And yes, I was awarded with you know the the, the crown of uh, most fascinating individual for 2016, and that encouraged me to do more, to support more the community, not only in one way, in different ways. We are so much grateful. We are happy to accept us by the United States of America. Great, great, great. We are happy now. Well, and we're lucky to have you here, you know that. Because you, you, look at this wonderful family that you have. <laughs> How many doctors now in, in your sons? Two? Two doctors. Two doctors. That's very impressive. So we're benefiting from you and, and your family. Two doctors yeah? and he's the computer manager. There you go. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> yeah, to have, to have that kind of skill and talent coming to our country. That's why, that's why I do my work, is because I want to honor and celebrate the contributions that you make to our communities. And it's really true. So, um, I have been photographing your family for many years, haven't I? Yeah. I can remember when you were really little. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. That's very good. So we've had a good time making, taking photographs. And you know, Rosie, you always love to, have fo to be photographed. You always love to have me take photographs. Yeah. And I like that. Because you know, a photographer likes people who like to have their picture taken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of obvious, isn't it? Yeah. One day, your sons and daughter, they must get education. We convince them. And they have come. Uh, we, we, we went uh, hut to hut. And finally, uh, they brought their children in the school. We have, we have divided them into different classes and we have appointed the teachers you know it was very hard but you know that's that's what inspired me your story and the importance of education in these families is what inspired me to start that that college scholarship fund with the charitable foundation mm -hmm. because i wanted to help young people that come here from other countries especially mm -hmm. refugee kids to get a college degree i've been very impressed with the fact that so many immigrants and refugees work with people that have disabilities or challenging behavioral problems i think there's a lot of compassion that people that have been through some of the things that you and your family so, have been through can can understand and relate to you know what happened is that the people from my country you know we face a lot of challenges we face a lot of issues we face a lot of problems and we know you know how you know, it was tough to deal with all those problems and after we came back here, we see the people of disability, you know, actually they are, they have some kind of special abilities, well, we, you know, people say that, you know, they are disabled, but they are always with some kind of special abilities. So we know the, you know, when you face the problem, the challenges and all, and we try to, you know, use that, our skills and, you know, the, whatever we, 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 we learn on that difficult phase. So we are using that to help people to overcome their challenges. So pretty much, you know, people from our communities, they are trying to help people, other people to come up, for example, the disabilities, you know. Mm, that's wonderful. You know, I have nothing to say, you know, because <laughs> you, know, you, are, you are already masters in this. Oh, no. <laughs> in this work. Only because you inspire me. <laughs> so, but you know, we all have a little piece to do. And I think of this, the project of p making people feel welcome mm -hmm. is like a large jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. And we all have a piece to put in the puzzle. And my piece is a little bit of photography. Your piece is, is educating and inspiring the next generation. So we all have a piece to do to make this big puzzle of welcoming come yes. together, right? Get together and... Get together. Yeah. <laughs>